Hello, ladies and gents. My name is Putty, and welcome back for another episode of Pull uh, Um I thought I'd mention, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, that uh, Tiro Alpha is out injured. This does mess up a couple of plans, but uh, it shouldn't mess up too much, as a lot of our plans are being messed up recently. That's okay. We, we maintain calmness, and we understand that they weren't huge deals anyway. Alright, let's get rocking and rolling with the show tonight. So, for the third week in a row... We're going to start off the show with Mr. Lucha and Fino Lizando from the night of um, Dia de los Muertos, something like that. Um, once again, both going to be talking, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, actually, I don't think Lucha is going to be talking today. I think we're just going to be acting with that one. Uh, actually, that's probably... Like, what's happening tonight? Probably not a success for him. Probably my new defeat. Um, I don't even know if this is... I don't think anybody's a winner in this situation. So, uh... Finalizando points out fatal flaw. Also, Finalizando asked me for a wage rise midweek. I was like, I'm fucking not saying no to you, dragon god of death. <laughs> okay, so what happens in this angle is that Finalizando, this is continuing right off from last week, which if you remember, is where Mr. Lucha 3 said his whole plan was to bring back his uncle from the dead. That's what he's going to do next year, that's why he betrayed everyone this year. Um at the Day of the Dead, which is the big revival <laughs> day, ironically. Um, Vinalizando says to Mr. Lucha, look out at this army of the dead, look at everyone you've seen revived since a couple of hours ago. Is that, are these revived people to you? Is this life to you? Because this is not life to me. This is a manifestation of shadow energy animating corpses and, and you can see the the army of the dead is very much zombie like they don't seem to have much brain power let's just say that much and he says do you really want Manuel Prieto to come back as some shell of skin and bone do you really want that life that image of somebody you once held so dear and as Mr. Lucha 3 looks out at this army of the dead and realizes the actual reality of what his plan is what Manuel Prieto will come back as he realizes maybe he fucked up and uh, starts to show a little bit of uh, perhaps not remorse but panic on his face. All right, and uh, we also have another angle tonight as we usually do back back in the sanctity of the walls of Oli as we have uh, Pesadilla who is going to accept Raven Nightfall's ch uh, challenge. And this can go four? Do I want another angle tonight? Probably not. Yeah, I'll go six. And then we have a main event. I had this planned for a while. We are going to have... Uh, I have completely forgotten who the tag champs are. Oh, of course, it's uh, Los Hermanos Demonos. This isn't the main event, I just realized. We're going to have the Shadow Riders take on Los Hermanos Demon Eo. Demon Eo. And we'll go 12, eh, we'll go like 8 minutes, tag titles, pairs titles, Prince of Darkness Evil goes over, <laughs> and the open, high spots match, Cosmic Rider's unhappy, yeah, I can keep you strong. I'll keep you both strong, it's not a big deal. Cool. And then we have to do something for the main, unless I had something planned. Oh, I did. Well, not for the main, this is not a main, I just realized. But, uh, it is something. We will do Dos Martes 2, <laughs> taking on Ropanda in this match. <laughs> yep, this is certainly a match. And we will have Resistance Panda win, because of course it's it's Resistance Panda. <laughs> My god, this, this, this entire thing... <laughs> And I have a main tonight. If well, I don't have a main, but I was thinking we might main event with some chicks. Was the idea like I didn't really have anything in particular in mind, but I was I had the idea that we'd main event with the girls, um, which Raven Nightfall versus Purple Viper does not sound like the worst idea in the world. In fact, that sounds like a good idea to me. Sure. I mean, it's probably not going to get like a B, but if it gets a B minus, I'm pretty happy with that. So come on, come on, girls. Ha come on. I know you guys can do it. I have faith. You guys are really good wrestlers. I know this is a pop-based company or an equal pop perf company, but I, I think you girls can do it. Uh, is there anything else to really do tonight, considering 
La Sombra is leaving? Probably not. I can't think of any other thing we can advance with the storyline. We've got a couple storylines coming next month. That's when the new arc starts. Um, I've got, like, arcs for my plans now. So this current arc win is the Aftermath of Death arc. We've got a new arc starting in, in December. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think... I mean, there's a couple things unexplained, obviously. We've still got this, like, cut where at the start of the episode we're seeing the aftermath of uh, of the of the pay-per-view and then the rest of the show is back to normal and there's no real explanation as to why Oli has not yet been invaded by a massive army of the dead. But we're going to get that soon, I promise. <laughs> Alright, so. I think that's probably pretty good to, to, to go for. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have faith in the girls, but just in case, I'm going to save. Um, have I got a generic venue tonight? I do not, see? Gotta always check. I like generic venues. All right, the I thought it was the girls, then. I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. No, this is uh, the segment where Fina Lozano says, do you really want Manuel Prieto to come back like this? And Mr. Lucha's like, mm. and he doesn't say anything, but, you know. In a 48p+, plus, which is not bad, because we had a 19 in there. Um, <laughs> resist, uh, Resistencia, Sia, whatever. Um, Espada Roja carried the segment. Uh, below average for the new gimmick for the new evil guy. And above average for the new gimmick for Panda. <laughs> and, yeah, alright. That's alright. Number two is still getting, like, he's the, he is the zombie who will stand out amongst everyone else. Um, apparently, Muerto 3 was the worst, but uh, Roja carried it, so that's okay. It's a good match, actually, for everyone who's involved. And a 63C, Espadachin was the weak link. Evil defeated La Sombra Jr. with an evil salt. And uh, this is a good match, except for... Yep, the Spanish team was definitely the weak link here, but I'm really impressed with the rest of them. Sadly, the best person in the match is leaving us. But aside from that, uh, I'm pretty pretty happy. All right, main event. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, I thought it was La Sombra. Oh, it is La Sombra. Let's see what his new gimmick gets. Average. Well, oh, fuck you. You're leaving anyway. Uh, Man on a Mission got a great gimmick, so that's fine. A main event! Oh, no, no. Main event! That's not a main event. <laughs> Pesadilla says, I will accept your challenge, and at Venganza, I will beat you, and I will prove that I am the best female in all of Oli. Uh, very simple feud, but I think it works. I think when it's, I close, it's going to be the main... No, okay. So, I'm looking forward to that match. I think Pesadilla versus Raven Nightfall is going to be great. But, this next match, got 72 B-, minus. I mean, it's not awful. <laughs> it's certainly not awful. That is not great, performance-wise, but, you know, it got carried a good match somehow. Like, there's not a lot of negatives. I, I, I'm looking forward to the the, the pay-per-view match. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna deliver. Yeah, actually, I, like, I was like, it's not awful. It's actually pretty good. Huh. Overall, sure, gets a 70 C-, my, a C plus, which is not bad. Pretty happy with that. Doesn't uh, decrease our pop anyway. I'm still a little surprised we're not getting increases in pop in the shitty regions of Mexico. But, uh, that's okay. We'll get there one day. Yeah, we really should be gaining pop there. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, one week, but that's fine because we have our new deal in place. Which will probably get less rating. Actually, they'll probably get a bigger rating because it's more coverage. Uh, aside from that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Check out the rest of the series. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time for the final episode of Pola Noche en Fantamiento that takes place in November. Then we're on to a new arc <laughs> in my storytelling, which uh, for you guys means a different kind of side of the story. A lot of things have been moving a little slowly this month, I would say. Um, I think things are going to pick up a little bit next month. So please join me for that. And I will see you guys next time for another episode of... Bola noche enfrentamiento. Adiós, amigos.